On one hand, it feels like just yesterday the mocks were getting whipped around by the Tennessee Volunteers. On the other, it feels like a lifetime ago because Chattanooga has been doing a lot of winning as of late. In fact, they entered Saturday winners of four straight, the last three coming in SoCon play. And what better way to put that streak to the test than facing a VMI squad that has not won a game at all this season. Homecoming at Finley Stadium and look who's in the house. Mox legend, NFL Hall of Famer and recent local three guest Terrell Owens. UTC knocking on the doorstep in the first chase Artopius with the ball. He did this running thing last week and it turned out pretty well. So why not try it again? QB1 using his legs 17 yards on the touchdown. Chattanooga goes up 7-0. Then the rain started kicking in and that causes some problems. Mox ball gets knocked loose and recovered by the key debts at the 13 yard line. So it's time for the UTC defense to step up. Third and one Jojo Crump hands the ball off and it's Alex Mitchell with the tackle. A loss of three yards forces VMI to settle for a field goal. But the key debts not exactly looking like an 0 7 team in the second quarter. Crump zips a 26 yard pass to Egypt Nelson. He hauls it in as VMI jumps in front 10 to 7. Keydets looking to tack onto their newfound lead, but Jeremiah Batiste has other plans. The former Tyner standout turned Mox defensive back with an incredible INT. All aboard the Ram train now. Chattanooga ends up cashing in. It's Artopius again, 23 yards to the house. The Mox take a 14 10 lead into the locker room. Then they add another 17 points in the second half. Make it five straight dubs. Chattanooga wins 31 to 10. Here's Artopius on his recent success with the ground game. Some of those runs, I probably had to unhitch the trailer a little quicker. Um, you know, sometimes you get out there and I just don't run a lot. So you're kind of like, wait, what do I do now? And you don't really have the plan. You're kind of just running the grass. You know? So I was talking to some of the running backs. They're like, yeah, we always got a plan when we get in the open field. You know, we're going to set a guy up, this, this. And I'm just like, I'm just going. So maybe this week in practice, I'll try to learn a little better on how to set guys up, assuming I have to keep running the ball a little bit. With the win, the Mox move into a tie for first place in the SoCon. Chattanooga will travel to Western Carolina next weekend for a date with the Catamounts.